Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother here, Yakane. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakok, Wadash, Bavakatum. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who, who will and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect. The brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully to you, I like to say Shalom. All right. Just a little quick, you know, exhortation. I right? edify a lesson, hopefully, for the Akim and the Aquaf listening scattered across the four corners of the earth. All right, heading into work, just a quick lesson because I'm in the spirit, man. All right, and I know, uh, uh, uh you know, a brother like myself, you know, these, these demons and, and, and these uh, temptations is coming down harder, man. All right, and all the time, it ain't gonna always just be, uh, you know, uh, hurts at you. Sometimes Satan gonna go through the weaker vessel. He gonna try to go through your woman. He gonna try to go through your baby mom. He gonna try to go through you, through your kids. All right, through the people you work with, your coworkers. All right, your, your, your family members. All right, he's going to try to use them, all right, to get you distracted, to get you all oh, having an off or bad day. All right, but you can't let none of that happen, man. All right, we, 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 uh, 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 Yasharala, man, prince of the power. All right, we're supposed to, you know, attack all this, uh, uh, uh wickedness, man. All right, all this shit that's trying to bring you down and, you know, it seems like it's hard and you're fighting demons and you, at, at days you feel like you want to give up and you don't know how you're going to get through it. You got to keep fighting, man. When the pressure on, you got to keep going. That's what make it fun, man. All right, when that pressure on, the Lord put that pressure on, you feel like you're going through the fire, you got to keep going. That's how you level up. That means the Lord send you your level up. You got to you got to pass through that test, man. You got to keep that head straight. You know, to keep you got to keep your head on straight, got to keep the faith, got to keep the hope. You got to keep doing what you was doing. Don't switch it up just cuz you know things ain't going how you thought they was going to go or things, you know, going a little harder than what you what you imagined or what you expected. That's when you got to buckle down, put your head down and keep your discipline on. Keep your faith intact. Alright? Stay doing the little things correct. Alright? The little things is gonna make the big things happen. Alright? Stick with your reading. Stick with your with your with your uh checking in and talking with the brothers and with the brothers with the like mindset that's gonna send you scriptures and keep you upbeat and keep you in the spirit. Keep you lively. Stay busy out here, man. Don't have so much downtime where now you just on your phone which attract demons, you just scrolling up and down social media. You got too much time, now you're going to partying and hanging out with too many women. Putting all these other little evil spirits on you, trying to sleep with so many women, different women, putting all these different spirits up on you because these women are whores, they getting passed around. You gotta be cautious about who you allow, you know, who, who, what you put in th your, your thing inside. Is that to create them soul tied? Now you got these demons on you, them doubt demons, them suicidal demons, them left hand wicked, wicked demons, all right, that was on that woman, now they're on you. So now you gotta fast and pray even more. Now you gotta repent. You know, you should be working out, man. It's summertime. You got to sweat. You got to open up the sweat glands. Sweat the toxins out. Sweat the demons out. Do something that's hard, not always comforting. Do something that you don't like to do every day. Because I guarantee you're doing a lot of what you like to do throughout the day. That's not evolve you. That's not growing you as a person. Do some things you don't like to do. Or do some things you know that are challenging unto you. Physically, spiritually, and mentally. You know? Sit down and read the Bible for a few, you know, a few pages or, you know, 20, 30 minutes throughout your day. Calm down. Throw a lesson on with the elders. Just call your brother up. See how he doing. Check on him. Pray. Send some, send, send some prayers up. Go to the gym. Work out. Go sweat for an hour. Go on a walk. Go on a hike. Go fishing. Take your kids to the park. Go eat. Go read. Do something that doesn't require you to be behind your uh, electronic device. This thing, you know... It's a two-way to it. It, it it's, it's good things that happen from it, but it's also bad things that happen from it. You can get addicted to this thing, all right, into the social media app, but you're too caught up into the social media realm. And now you're just ignoring the things of reality, you know? Understand that evil times are coming upon us, man. All right? And it's light right now. It's super light. If you think it's hard now, it ain't shit yet to come, man. Yeah, we all got a lot on our plate. Every brother going through it, man. Scripture talk about how, uh, you know, your brother in the world are going through the same things that you're going through. Don't think that you're the only brother going through what you're going through. You know? Tristan said when you're brought to a lower state, take it cheerfully. Right? It's easy to talk about. It's easy to read the scripture. But now when it's time to apply it, can you can you can you can you still uh continue on that path? Can you apply that scripture when things is going down? Alright? I've been going through hell, man. Alright? Every brother got their own little, you know, uh you know, uh walk in this truth. Where they're going to catch their hell at times. You know, some brothers just financially, some brothers just materialistically, some brothers just more spiritually. 
Some brothers might be physically, some brothers might be something with your kids, might be something with your job, might be something with your, it might be something, but the Lord going to test you somehow, some way, see if you're staying on his path. See how you're going to act when, when shit don't go your way. Are you going to remain firm? You're going to remain disciplined. You're going to remain in the faith. You're going to remain calling upon your how about shimmy, how about shine. All right? It's getting nicer out, so you know people are more outside, people are more riled up. A lot more demons out here, man. Let's believe that. All right, people are doing more drugs. People are drinking a little bit more. People are outside more. So that means there's going to be some more confrontations, conflicts, things of that nature. You know, you got to be on point, man. Just kind of do what you need to do. And, you know, take care of what you got to take care of. You know, all I really do is just kind of work, you know, and, and be a father. You know, other than that, I'm kind of in the crib chilling, watching some shows, watching some vids, reading, studying, watching some film. You know, I live kind of a basic lifestyle. You know, where I just kind of work, I'm a father, you know, and I kind of just like to kick back and chill, man. You know, I'm not really out and, out and about too much, man. You're not really seeing me out, you know, uh, amongst the people all the time, man. All right, I'm not I, I'm out hanging around average cats, all right? If you got a lot of people depending on you, and you got a lot of things to do, and you got a lot of responsibilities to uphold, you can't just be out and about doing whatever, man, hanging around anybody, doing anything, you know? You got to kind of, you know, separate yourself, all right? The, the eagles flying with the eagles and the pigeons flying with the pigeons. If you consider yourself a high-class man, a king, you wouldn't be out doing what the peasants is doing, out hanging around the peasants, all right? You're going to be doing something productive, chilling around people of like mindset, of like stature, all right? Doing what those people do, all right? Not out at the bars every weekend chasing women, man, getting drunk, spending money, wasting money for nothing. Now, if you want to sit back, drink up at the crib, call some people over, have a little game night, chill, whatever, study night, you know, family night, whatever, a little friend night, boy night, a little, little party, that's cool. But doing it every weekend, man, that's kind of, you know, it's kind of an off balance. You know, sometimes it's best to just kick up and chill, man. Kind of learn some things about yourself. Stay to yourself more. All right, you got things to do. Right now, man, I tell my guys that's around me, man, we locked in. All right, LMM, Lord Money Muscles. All right, we got to make sure we put the Lord first. You got to get your money right. That's a tool. You got to make sure you have a tool to have accessibility in this lifestyle, in this life, in this world. So do whatever you need to do to help your kids, pay bills, pay rent, have some fun. You know, you need money. It's a tool in the society. All right, you got to get your muscles right. You got to remain in shape. You got to stay top tier. You got to make sure your nutrition is on point. All right, making sure you're eating good, making sure you're fasting, making sure you're in shape, making sure your physique is on point. All right, it all is in one. It all works together. All right? You can't be on fire in the truth and then be out of shape in the physical. Or you can't be in physical. You can't be in physical shape and then not not be deep enough to know certain breakdowns and understand the scriptures to be able to teach it, break it down, do a lesson. Can't can't be under the yoke in this truth. You know, gotta stay prayed up. Gotta stay. Gotta stay uh, repentant, man. Gotta stay offended less. Gotta stay as harmful as a dove, as wise as a serpent. Gotta be on point. Just to say your adversary, the devil, walking around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. Say love to catch you when you're down, when you're depressed, when you're thinking negative thoughts about yourself, when you're doubting yourself. Those are all demons on you. You got the doubt demon on you. You got the negative demon on you. You got the non-work ethic demon on you. You got the sluggish demon. You got the slothful demon on you. All those demons on you combined, you better, you better throw the towel in. You better do something challenging to get them up off you, shake them up off you. You better hit him with a quick 24, 48-hour dry fast. You better hit him with a quick workout for an hour or two. Push yourself. When you huffing and puffing, getting that heart rate up, man. Getting that, getting that sweat going, getting that heart going, getting that pump going, pushing your flesh. You know, you better go open the Bible up, read, read the Word. You better go turn the video on, turn the lesson on, watch the Akiyam, watch the brother, watch the elders. Get in the spirit. You better find a way to cast these demons up off you. You're sitting in the crib, watching your phone, watching TV, ain't going to do it. You got to do something different, something challenging. Demons don't like a challenge. Remember, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. The spirit is willing to go the distance. The flesh wants you comfortable, all right? Complacent, stagnant, chill, laid back, cool. You know, the spirit want to want to test it, man. The spirit ready to go the distance. That's ready to do whatever, whatever it's ready to do. You know, so you gotta get out of this mindset of you know uh, waiting for the world to uh, get you to, I guess, turn up. You gotta be able to turn yourself up. Be able to motivate and discipline yourself. Stop waiting for a David Goggins or a YouTube motivational video to get you turned up. You got to motivate yourself. You got to turn yourself up. And that should be easy if you want something. 
if you're chasing after something, Matthew 6, 33, seek ye the kingdom and all these things shall be given unto you. Seek the kingdom, follow Lord's commandments, and the Lord shall give all these things unto you. All right? So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakaf, Wadash, Wakaf, Thumb, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well. All right? And, and uh, uh, Shalom to the Akim and the Akwaf scattered across the four corners. All right? Keep pushing this work. Keep enduring. Shalom to you and your families.